Hello, Costa Rica. It is April 20th. It's 420. I don't know if you guys know what that means in Costa Rica, but you probably do. It is April 20th, 2018. Um, got a cartoon today on the massive debt problems and stuff and for the Costa Rican government. Um, I wasn't going to uh, record the rough, and but you know what I did? I clicked record without even thinking about it, just out of habit. And then I walked away and I totally forgot it was on and it recorded for like 20 minutes. Um, but I was able to chop it off a little bit and since, since the video wasn't too long, I went ahead and left the rough part in or the lettering. Actually, you didn't really get to see the rough so much. You didn't get to see me make the rough. You can see it now. Um, so I saw this uh, story about um, this professional classic ballet company coming to uh, Costa Rica. And it's their very, very first one. Uh, I am not a ballet aficionado. I don't know much about ballet. I know that it takes incredible strength and endurance and skill and talent that makes uh, athletes, you know, in, in sports. Uh, I guess if you're an athlete, you're in a sport. But it just puts them to shame with, like, the rigorous training that you need to do and the muscle coordination and stuff like that. So I, I really, really do respect it. I wouldn't make fun of any guy doing ballet. But... I wouldn't know the difference between a classic ballet and a non-classic ballet. I mean, what is that? I mean, what is a non-classic ballet? Uh, uh. I mean, they're not wearing tutus. See, that's something else to know about ballet, that you wear tutus. Um, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, and I also know that most people who do ballet are very tiny people. They're, they're like jockeys, so maybe ballet is kind of like horse racing with their horses. I don't know. Um, but it's cool. It's all right. But I was looking at Costa Rica's debt, and I just had it as debt. But I don't like labeling things debt, even though I did it here. It's not a fan of it, because so many people do it. Because you can take anything and put a debt label on it, like a sinking ship or the Hindenburg <laughs> Marine and stuff like that. Let's put debt on it. If you, don't, if you need a, if you're like approaching deadline as a cartoonist, and you don't know what to do, just draw something and put debt on it. That's what a bunch of folks do. Um, but anyway, I was thinking about the new president coming in, and he has this huge situation. So I thought I'd make him do some ballet. It's always fun to make people kind of look ridiculous anyway. Um, I will say this. Carlos Alvarado, uh, a lot easier to draw than uh, Fabricio. So I'm glad he won. I didn't think I would like drawing Carlos as much as Fabricio though, because Fabricio had a funnier face. But I do like drawing Carlos now that I've drawn him for the second time. Uh, I dig it. It's cool. Um, he has eyebrows. And he has a widow's peak. Uh, I'm losing Paul Ryan, but I have uh, Carlos Alvarado. So the widow peak stays. Yay for me! Uh, so I, I asked the editor about the debt thing, like, hey, I want to put something else to it, but we just kind of extended the label to Costa Rican debt. So, I don't mean to uh, slur large people with this cartoon. So, nothing wrong with that, I guess, unless, you know, you're really unhealthy and your life's in danger. But I'm not trying to make fun of really big people. I guess I'm making fun of a big person landing on a small person. Uh, the editor said that I should put people in the, in the background because he likes more color and stuff. Uh, and I thought that was a good idea. Hey, makes the cartoon a little bit busier, but not too busy. And plus it gives more reactions. <laughs> oh, eyes are on the voluptuous woman. We'll go with the voluptuous. <laughs> so, probably the wrong word for that. I know what that means, but yeah. Um, Costa Rica is like in serious debt trouble. I mean, their credit rating keeps going down. Um, they're talking about all sorts of uh, taxes, like the VAT tax, um, raising all sorts of stuff. Um, even your future vacations uh, to Costa Rica in the near future might become more expensive. Something I was reading about that Laura Alvarado, I don't know if she's in relation to the incoming president, I don't think so. Uh, she wrote a story about um, the, the government the legislative assembly talking about raising taxes so your vacations might just uh start you might start seeing it 
I know a lot of people who go to Costa Rica for vacation. And uh, so, if you're an American and you uh, go to Costa Rica, but you don't really pay attention to the politics there, maybe you should. Maybe you should know what you're in for. Stuff's going to happen. It will affect you. Probably still affordable, though. If you can go in the first place, it's probably still affordable. But I, I had a lot of fun drawing this. Like the, the whole angle. and the, I was going to move Carlos back a little bit. A little bit more to the left. Put a little more, bit more air between him and the lady. My lady. Put a, some uh, space between them. So it's a little bit more incoming. And a little bit more time for him to see it. Ah, you know. Coming at him. But I like the way that I drew him so much that I was afraid to mess with it. I mean, even with the rough, I just like the pose, I like the face, I like the expression. So I just thought, ah, he's going to stay right where he is. I didn't want to monkey with it. Plus, it let me put more people all around him, too. So I guess that probably worked. I had to play with the skin tones, though. I didn't want him to blend in too much with the people in the background. So I changed that up around a little bit. I am glad that we're doing this uh, nearly every week, four weeks, uh, four times a month. I decided to make their hairs darker, so a little bit more contrast in there. I drawing the tutus. I just have to make sure I spelled Alvarado correctly. My other cartoon that I drew today for the United States, I had a huge mistake in my wording and I didn't notice it until right before I had it in the emails to send to all my clients and, I, and that's right when I noticed it, right before I sent it. It wasn't hard to fix, but it was a, a big one that I didn't want to send out there. I just had like the same word in there twice. I mean, it was nothing nasty or anything like that. But. I need to draw more tutu cartoons. <laughs> I already got my subject in mind for next week, but that might change because uh, news changes, issues change. Sorry if I sound tired. I've been working since 3 a.m. And it's uh almost 1 p.m. now while I'm making this. You will see it much later. I, these videos are made by a bunch of little videos. And then I combine them together and I time lapse them. And then it has to format. And then it has to format on YouTube. And between that I have to uh, send it. Here's your finished cartoon. Between that I have to send it to uh, the folks at the Costa Rica store. Uh, do us all a favor. Do yourself a favor and subscribe to the Costa Rica Star. Do me a favor and click like on this video and leave a comment. Say something, even if you want to say something that's not nice. Well, not too bad, but you know. Comment, makes us, help make us relevant. Um, Relevanter, and please come back later and hang out. Thank you so much for watching, goodbye.